Dear President Vladimir Putin, I am not your father, but I could be if you'd let me. You would have room to grow so that one day a message of love and togetherness you could bestow. You would have space to learn within, even as you may feel the world is constricting around him. I would have taught you that every little rock and bug on this planet has a soul that is eternal and needs to be cherished, not a target for artillery bombardmented. Vladimir, not my name of choice. I would have named you strong, wise, valiant, so that my son could speak with a good voice. Lucas Putin, of the highest pedigree, the whole human race would have to agree. Or maybe Mason Putin. Mason would study medicine for a year at university before realizing it's too hard, then go on a surfing trip to find himself. Or maybe Scott Putin. <laughs> Scott would wear dirty old corduroys with stains everywhere, but he wouldn't care. He would smell like French cigarettes and the world and drive an ancient Volvo that barely starts. He'd tell you stories until 5 a.m. And together, you could watch the sun come up over the Como de Giancarlo Hill in Rome, kicking back bottles of cheap Lambrusco wine, laughing. Scott Putin only needs a ukulele and a passport to be at peace with the universe, not tanks and bombs. If I was Putin's father, I would have bounced you on my knee and filled your heart with glee so that you could see that the world doesn't have to be filled with pain and strife because there's a better life. I would cook you a borscht so sweet with carrots, turnips, and beets. If I was your father, to the lake, fishing trips we would take. You'd have so much love on your plate, you would pass down the love I bestow instead of so much hate. If I was Putin's father, I never would have spanked him. He would have grown to take the throne, a good king, and the people would have thanked him. Together we'd be a family of love, of safety, an anti-war family. If I was Putin's father, I'd tear apart the domineering patriarchal values that caused such strife. I'd lead by example. He would retain his mother's name, so he would be Vladimir Putin Hyde. If I was Putin's father, my little baby Putin would never go hungry and never feel fear, and my little baby would never ever go to jail or end up as a statistic in KKK America, where a black man just dies. If he's black, he just dies. Mr. President Putin, won't you please look in my eyes and count to three? One, two, three. It's okay to cry. A real man doesn't hide behind his tanks and missiles, but instead he faces the hurt inside. If I was Putin's father, Putin would be a progressive and kind leader who would throw out all of Russia's history books and teach Russians Chicana feminism. And never again would a Russian man's hand be wrapped around a Latina woman's throat. Putin, if I was your daddy, I'd teach you about all the gays and blacks so that you'd think twice before Ukraine you attack. If I was Putin's father, I would teach him how to do the whole alphabet backwards so you can be popular and funny and maybe not turn out as an incel. If I was your dad, I would have been so glad I would have raised a strong son without a small man complex. If I was Putin's father, I wouldn't hold him back from all the content he wants to watch. I'd let him watch Shane Dawson and James Charles on his iPad starting at age one, hopefully turning him gay so he can chill out and not murder and kill for fun. If I were Putin's father, I would block Donald Trump on my son's Twitter account, cutting him off from the dangerous pipeline of hate politics and crony Trumpist lies. I would be accountable and responsible for my little baby son, and I would vaccinate him twice. If I was Putin's father, I would have had him circumcised extra so that he knew how hard it is to grow up with a woman's clitoris. If I was your father, Vladimir, you'd be a trans swimmer, the best, and you'd smash all the girls' championships and records. And you'd be just like your father, a total athletic beast. Together, we'd be in the best shape of our lives. I'd be your best friend and most reliable wingman. If I was Putin's father, you would never call a woman a bitch again. 
you'd call her a princess. And if I ever found out my son was treating women with disrespect, I'd chop it off and put it in a jar, if you know what I'm saying. Imagine if Rosie the Riveter was a woman of color. Then would you call her a We're gonna bleep that part out, it's gonna be bleeped. <clears throat> Obviously. Vladimir, I wish I was your father. We would watch Marvel and Avengers movies so that you could see how a real hero behaves. A real hero uses his shield, not missiles, to protect against Darth Vader and the evil empire. What makes a father? Better yet, what makes a son? If I was Putin's father, oh, the things he would become. Putting into words what my fatherhood would bring to Putin in these times would take five million threads and strings. So instead, I leave this poem for the next time you are wondering, what if I was Putin's father? Well, let's just say it would really be something. Perhaps he would hold dear human life.